Is it zombie on human time? It's zombie on human time. There we go. Look at that. Bow and arrow. So this is how she got it. What the hell are we doing here? Who gives a fuck about that old man and a little girl? Oh dear. The sooner we find them, the sooner we get out of here. Make sure this area is clear. I'll look around over here. We'll check around back. All right. So now we know how she got her bow. Holy shit. Hair trigger. Savage starlight. Panda patrol. Okay then. <laughs> Fucking terrible, terrible, terrible controls. A great cover system. Fuck! Man down! What? What do you mean, man down? You're not looking at him. You're looking over the counter. Spread out! God, the human AI in this game is so terrible. Fuck. How much ammo did that guy have? All right. I'm coming to get you, Joel. These guys want to fight. I'll fucking get them one. Hmm. I'm going to get to him, stitch him up, and then I'm going to get the hell out of here. That was so bad then, that cover system. It completely messed up. There we go. That's a lot of blood. Vents. Why does it always have to be vents? Which way? Oh, man. Oh. Freezing in here. I'm the last surviving member of my crew. I 
Ayata. I ran away. I fought and escaped those fucking things. And in the process, <laughs> the sutures on my goddamn stump ripped open. <sighs> I'm bleeding to death, and I can't sew it back up. Not with one arm. I can't make the fucking knot. That was quite touching, if it wasn't so earth-shatteringly immersion-breaking, because I'm pretty sure the zombies would hear that. That's a lot of zombies. That worked. Oh God. There is a huge control issue with that. I let go. I let go of the trigger. And then it took about two seconds for the bow to actually fire. That's a pretty big control problem that they need to fix. I've let go. I've let go. I'm not joking, I let go. I let go of the, tr the trigger and it wouldn't fire. <laughs> what a great bug. So it's bugged. Brilliant. The bow and arrow is bugged. <laughs> I let go of the trigger and it didn't fire. Wow. I've let go. I'm le I've let go. I've let go. Let go. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow. So buggy. That's brilliant, that is. That's just fucking brilliant. Brilliant. Any more of these fuckers? I let go. I let go of the trigger. No. I pressed the trigger and let go, and it didn't fire. Holy okay. shit. That's buggy as hell. How can you have a, a huge bug in your game like that, where the bow and arrow doesn't fire? <laughs> in a two hour, like a two to three hour DLC. Ow. It's so buggy, it doesn't fire unless you press it again. You have to press it twice. Wow. So the bad controls from The Last of Us carry on to the DLC, by the looks of it. I wonder if it could be where the yellow bit is. 
Naughty Dog loved their yellow for telling you where to go. I don't know. Oh dear, Jesus Christ, okay. I hate that fulfilled so much. I'm waiting for them to see if they will go round. I don't know if they will, though. Are they gonna go in there? If, yep, no, no, maybe, no. What was that? What was, oh, Jesus, there they go. Oh, God. Oh, good God. That is quite scary. Holy shit. That's awesome. Oh. There you go. He's dead. Clicker. Instant death. They didn't know about that. <laughs> the clicker will kill you all. The clicker is the most overpowered enemy in the game. Death field is horrible. I hate it so much. Yeah, clicker, 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 clicker. Yeah, clicker, 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 clicker. Where are you? There you are. Shit. There we go. They're all down, apparently. That's good then. I'm surprised you can even grab onto that considering how cold it is. Hold! Are we back where I think we are? I don't know. It all looks the same. That's the problem. Full health again. Good. Good, good. Are we back? Yeah, okay, we are, okay. This is the this is the the, the gate that had the um combination lock on it. Ah. I hear the fucking horse behind you. 
The fucking horse. Oh shit, they're trying to open it. Shit. Don't you dare hurt whatever the name of the horse is. I forgot. I don't remember. You only said it once at the beginning of the game. I forgot. Oh, come on. That felt like that was on. There we go. That works. The bow is very satisfying to use. I do love a bow and arrow. Unfortunately, the tra the tra 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 I can't say words. The trajectory of the the arrow is dumb. It just falls down like instantly. That's not how a bow works. Oh shit! Shitty dicks. There we go. I hate the melee system in this game, it's terrible. How come she sprints so slowly? There you are. There we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Ah, sweet. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't want to die. I want to live. I want to live another day. I have to live. The last of our story depends on it. Where is he? I don't see him. Is he coming up the elevator? The elevator, the escalator. The fuck is she? He. There he is. There's two of them, of course there is. Yeah, that's what you fucking get, motherfuckers. Hey, it's an arrow. Bows and arrows. Gunplay is very satisfying. I do not like the weapon. I I'm a lot more forgiving on the weapon sway with Ellie, but with Joel it was just the the biggest contrivance ever. Um. Okay. Invisible walls apparently. I don't know who's almost spotting me. I don't see. You up here? You up here? You're gonna get an arrow in your head? An arrow in the back of your head? Where are you, little fella? I'm gonna get you. I don't know where the hell he is. <laughs> um, okay. Am I blind? Ah, there you go. An arrow. Why is it doing that thing where you almost get detected if there's no one else here. Huh. I don't know where he is. I must be blind. You up here? No. Um, okay. Oh, there you are. What the fuck? Did I go right past him? That was close. Eh, we missed. It's fine. We have bullets. It's fine. I don't need your silly bow and arrow. I have bullets. I have bullets. 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck. I think they're flanking me. They're trying to flank. But what I do not realize is that I am a little squirrel, and they will not find me. Brilliant. <laughs> Fucking horseshit. I shoot him twice, he slaps me three times and I die. I tried to pick it up, but it didn't. Oh, fuck. They're flanking me. They got red eyes. They got red eyes. Where the fuck are they coming from? I'm dead. <laughs> Where the hell are they coming from? Did that guy just, like, spawn out of thin air? He, w he was waiting his turn to attack me, apparently. There's hundreds of them. Coming from fucking nowhere. Oh! Oh, hi. Bloody die, Jesus Christ. What, where the hell are they coming from? Freaking spawning out of thin air. I have seven bullets, and there seems to be more than like seven guys. Brilliant. There we go. How the fuck many are there? What the fuck? Oh, I hate the melee system, it's so lame. There's no skill in it at all. The melee system is lame, because it's just... It's... It's already decided if you're going to lose or not. There's no actual skill in it. It's just mash. Like, there's no way of winning if you're below a certain amount of health. Which is just lame. That's a bad way to do it. How the fuck many are there? Look at this shit! There's like more than seven guys. Oh, okay, now they've just spawned me here with all my ammo left. Okay. 
Another infected. What? How come I got a checkpoint? I don't understand that at all. Pick up the fucking gun. Thank you. Oh. Well, this is quite tricky, actually. It's quite tricky. I'm not sure if it's tricky for the good reasons. It just seems to be outnumber you and make it a bit of a clusterfuck. Still not dead. That didn't work at all, did it? Are we good? Yeah. If anyone's alive, don't even think about surprising me. You let up like your friends, you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Like the melee system, it feels when you when you actually kill someone, like well, especially with Joel with like a big baseball bat, it feels good. But unfortunately, it's a bad system because it requires no skill at all. There's nothing you can do. Oh Jesus Christ! Okay. You're going to die. I got you, babe. I got you, babe. <laughs> okay, then. You got me. I got you. You got me. And I got you, too. Well, I quite like this. This is pretty good, isn't it? I like the big change of pace. It's quite nice. Um, there we go. Of course. <laughs> Rehashing gameplay elements since 2013. Okay, let's How many bullets do you have? You've got enough to fucking spare, haven't you? Jesus Christ. I think there's an, I think you've got more than can be in one clip. Or magazine, whatever it is. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No. Wow. All right. And it's go, go, go. This way. How did you get ahead of me? I wonder what's going to happen to them. <laughs> I hate prequels. Can we just stop? Can we make prequels illegal? Because we know what happens. Oh. One of her bones has to be broken. Uh oh. And now to better graphics.
think it's clear. Ellie. Ellie, your arm. How did she get bitten? We didn't even... There's no way she could have got bitten. In that. No, 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 no. I wonder what's gonna ha oh wait. Don't worry. I've done this before. I'm kind of an expert. Ish. Just stay calm. Please stay calm. <laughs> Some more stuff over there you can break. What are we gonna do? The way I see it, we got two options. Option one, we take the easy way out. It's quick and painless. I'm not a fan of option one. Two? We fight. Fight for what? We're gonna turn into one of those things. There are a million ways we should have died before today. And a million ways we can die before tomorrow. But we fight. For every second we get to spend with each other. Whether it's two minutes or two days, we don't give that up. I don't want to give that up. My boat, let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. What's option three? Sorry. Come on. Let's get out of here. And that's the end, isn't it? Uh, well then. Well, I, I, I liked it. I can't not say I didn't like it. I definitely enjoyed some of it. Um, but I'll say again, a another DLC that is completely and utterly pointless. Because it was a prequel. Stop making prequels. All I have to stay is, stay is, say is, Star Wars. Prequels are useless. Like, name, like there's probably like one out of the thousands of thousands of prequels that have been made that is actually worth it. Because we knew what was going to happen. It was pointless. Like, we knew what was going to happen. She was going to die and Ellie was going to live. I mean, that's all that happens. And we don't even get to see her turn, which is just dumb to me. Um, the bits where the game tells a story and there's gameplay are really, really good. Like with the brick bit and the water gun bit. Really good. The bits where you are just walking and there's so much exposition and dialogue are uh, dumb. 
It's there's so little gameplay in this. It's insane. And um, the controls are still bad. The controls are still not very good. And the melee the melee system is weak without being able to craft melee weapons. Um, but I did like it. Uh, the music's good, again, um, well the music's great, actually, voice acting's good, obviously, um, graphics are, you know, a bit better, I didn't really notice that much difference, really, the 60 FPS, I didn't really notice, um, I'd probably notice if I go back and play, uh, Last of Us, re uh, the first, you know, obviously, the PS3 version, because there's a big difference between 60 FPS and 30, I just, I just didn't notice it for some reason, um, it just didn't, didn't really, I didn't really see it for some reason. Um, even though if you put 60 and 30 side by side, you would tell a huge difference. I don't think 60 FPS makes that much of an impact on console as it does on PC, because the controls are bad anyway on, on a controller. So, adding another 30 FPS doesn't really make that much of a difference in terms of controls feeling smoother. I don't know. I mean, uh, it wasn't bad. I liked it. I don't. I don't feel like I wasted my money, but it does feel a bit pointless to have a prequel as a DLC. Where you already know, I mean, half the freaking, half of the DLC is you playing as Ellie in the bits between where Joel gets injured and, you know, where Ellie gets kidnapped. So, I mean, it feels a bit pointless. We didn't really need to know that. Did, was anyone being like, how did she, how did she get medicine for Joel? How did this happen? How, like, I don't give a shit about that. Like, I'm, it's, like, it's not some, like, crazy thing that Ellie could probably find some medicine on her own. I don't, you know. I feel like they could have done a lot more with the zombie and human interaction. There was only, like, a couple of bits. Like, two or three bits. It was very minor. Uh, but the bits that had zombie and human interaction were cool, it was just that there was so little of it, so little of it. I mean, what can you do in a two-hour DLC? You can do, like, nothing. Um, I don't know. i seen some people making a little bit of a fuss about the kiss scene. Personally, I don't give a shit. It doesn't bother me at all. I don't know. <laughs> like, who gives a fuck? The music's good. Yeah, the music's really good. The music's probably like one of the best bits of the game. Um, some of the bits made me laugh, which was quite nice surprise. Um, the chemistry and interaction is pretty good. I recommend it. I recommend it. It's definitely worth the money, I would say. But it's nothing like crazy. So that was my, I guess, playthrough of The Last of Us Left Behind. I enjoyed it. I definitely don't feel like I wasted my time, but I don't think it's that amazing. It's it's good. It's good. It's good. That's all I have to say about it. It's good. So, um, thank you for watching and goodbye.